This is a 24 volt, 200 watt power supply unit off Amazon. Probably about the cheapest one you're going to find. This is $19. Just uh, keep in mind this is somewhat of an open design, so there is potentially a risk of electric shock depending on how you mount it. Just make sure that if you do go this route that um, you keep it safe from humans and pets and what have you. I'm going to be using wire ferrules here as well. Um, you don't have to, just keeps it nice and tidy though. We'll need a 4-pin Molex motherboard extension cable. This one is about 20 inches long. You most likely already have some sort of a cable laying around. What you'll need is a 3-prong including earth or ground. This particular unit has a bit of a quirky feature. It has a switch to switch between 220 volts and 110 volts. Uh, not that that's that unusual but the way the switch is mounted you have to take a little screwdriver and flick the switch before you first power it up. This has to be the cheapest way of powering a Fanatic CSL DD wheelbase. The whole thing is less than $30 and is pretty easy to make yourself.